Welcome to iBud Works. Today I'm doing Adnam's Broadside uh, and this is a beer I have had before and I filmed a review and it was a bit rubbish in the edit. I mean some of you might say that most of my reviews are rubbish in the edit but you know there you go. Um, and I'd forgotten about it until someone commented on one of my videos and I can't remember because I'm stupid and they said have you tried Adnam's Broadside? I said oh yeah I've done that and I remembered I didn't post it. I am waffling Let's get on with it. This is a 6.3, a whopping 6.3, 500ml. I got it from Morrison's in part of their sort of 4 for 3. And if you're going to buy it as a standalone, it's 225, which is stonking value. Uh, and this is a big, meaty, fruit cakey. Oh, let's just get it on. I think sometimes it's always good to revisit things. Um, because often when I do these, I, I will uh, review a couple of beers and then I'm moving on to the next one. Uh, and you don't often get a chance to go back and savour something you've done before, or I don't. Um, okay, that's a little bit... I'm trying to pour that... Go on, you can get it in. Ever so gently. That's it. That looks like a nice... Uh, yeah, but at 6.3, I'd be surprised if that head stays around. We've got a lovely deep ruby. Yeah? Dark, I, it just looks dark. It doesn't look of any colour. <clears throat> As I look towards <laughs> the light. Yeah, it's a very dark ruby. There is light bleeding through the bottom. Lovely creamy head. Mixed bubbles. Now. Hmm. Can't remember what the other ones are. Again, once you've tried something. But, you know, honest with you guys, first impressions and all that. There's a little bit of burnt rubber there on the nose. So on the nose, that isn't that pleasant. I think we should be in date. Is there a date? Yeah, it's at the top there. At the top, December of next year. So we've got a year to run. Well, now it's just, it's gone to nothing now. Okay. Enough waffle. Let's get on with it. Cheers, everybody. Thick. Soup-like. Rich. Some coffee notes in there. Bit of banana -y. It's just a deep, deep, complex flavour. Oh, that's going down well. Okay, there's some blurb on the back. Let's see what I should be getting. Dark ruby red beer. Yep, got that bit. With a fruitcake flavours. Mm. It is fruity. There's um, some banana esters in there. It's a lovely sort of molasses malt going on there. But I wouldn't necessarily <laughs> wouldn't necessarily say it's a fruitcake. It's just bloody good. Wonderful balance of malt and hot flavours. Well it is, I mean there's nothing jarring there. Uh, so that is bloody good, but I'm not getting that fruitcake. Just sort of a lovely treaky, tre treaky, treaky, treacly molasses. That sort of, I suppose, Christmas cakes are a bit like that, aren't they? With that dark treat. Do you put dark treacle in yours? Yeah, yeah, that sort of. Okay, I am just going to waffle. This is bloody good uh, for that price. It's good, and if you're going to get three for four, you know that's not bad at all. Um, have you tried? He did you like? He did you know like he? I'm uh, always really interested. I was going to say I'd be very surprised if you didn't like it, but, you know, some people might not. Um, that is absolutely fantastic. I'm just going to waffle on now. Bloody good. Cheers.